Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, whimsically referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. I'd like to say a big warm welcome to all of our existing customers and especially warm welcome to all of you who are new and might be experiencing SureFit Designs for the first time. These are our live chats and we started them at the beginning. Actually, we started last year in 2020, but you know, we had some issues going on around Christmas and we didn't get any done then. So our intention this year is for SureFit Designs to offer you lots of inspiration. And we're doing that with these live chats. And of course, there will be broadcasts as well. Now, you might say, what's the difference between a chat and a broadcast? Well, the chats, I hope to keep them between 30 and 45 minutes long, though today I know I'm going to go over. And the broadcasts, they are going to be longer, more focused, and there will be a nominal fee charged for the broadcast. But we'll let you know more about those as we go on. In these live chats, I always like to focus on one specific topic. And because I get dry now and again, I like to hear your suggestions of what would you like me to focus on in the lesson material. And so January 14th, we did our first live chat for this year and asked you to tell me what you'd like to see in these live chats. And thank you so much to all of you who sent in suggestions. I have started a short list, and they're excellent. And actually, a couple of you said, I'd like to know about the t-shirt. Which kit is the best to use for sewing a t-shirt? And if we choose the dress kit, how do we remove the bust art? And I figure that if at least two of you have asked that question, that there's likely a lot more of you who would like to know the answer. So that's why we then interjected another chat in Feb uh, February. We're in January. We had our first one January 14th, now this one, and our next live chat's going to be February the 12th. So you'll want to mark your calendar. I just don't know the specific time right now, um, so watch the um, newsletter announcements that I send out. But so today's chat, we called it the beloved t-shirt just gets better with SureFit Designs. And along with this information that I'll share with you, we also have two new exciting products. And that's why we kind of stuck an extra chat in between one month and the next. And one of the things that I asked you for, of course, was your suggestions for chat topics. And please keep them coming. And then the other thing that we asked you for was to send photographs of garments that you've sewn with SureFit Designs. I know some of you came in a few minutes ahead of time, and you likely saw our rotating customer carousel at the beginning. And those were garments that people had actually uh, sewn with SureFit Designs and given me permission to use in our customer photo gallery in SureFitDesigns.com. Well, it's those kinds of garments that I'd like to feature from your work. And don't be shy. I mean, it's just exciting to see your garments, to know what you've sewn, to, see, to hear your accomplishments, and then for me to be able to use them to inspire other people. So your suggestions and your photos, if you can send them, please, directly to info at surefitdesigns.com info at surefitdesigns.com. That's my email address, and everything comes directly to me. So I encourage you to do that. We've got a lot of photos building for the February live chat, and so you'll see a different rotating carousel in February. So don't be shy. Send me your photographs. Okay, now in terms of the new products that I'd like to show you, you know, we're always on the lookout for new and innovative products that are going to make your sewing and your pattern work a lot easier. And so the first thing that I would like to show you is the uh, Stadler Erasable Colored Pencils. Now, I know that when I do my demonstration work for you in a video format, I use these thick marking pens, their ink, they make a thick line, and I do that so that you can see everything that I'm doing in the video work. But 
If I make a mistake, I have to live with it. I can't come in and erase it. And if I need to have two or three different sets of lines, then it starts to look a little bit confusing. So over the years, actually, I have been working with other colored pencils. We'll call them Brand X. They haven't been anywhere as good as these ones. And these actually were sourced in Europe thanks to our UK distributor, Judith Johnson. And she found these. And I'm going to show you just how well they erase. So here we have just the SureFit Designs tracing vellum. I want you to see this. There's kind of like a pink red color. Now, that's a lot of pencil to put on the tracing vellum. Look at that. It just erases it beautifully. Let me do a different color. Here's green. And you know, you make a mistake. This eraser that's at the end of these pencils is phenomenal. Can you just see how clear and clean the tracing vellum is? And they came just in the nick of time. They arrived last night. And that's great because today in my demo, I have about three or four different lines that I need to draw in a similar location. I'll use the colored pencils and I'll be erasing where I don't need that line to be. So you'll actually see them in action. We've included these in our essential tools category in our website. And then the other new product, that I wanted to show you also was sourced in Europe. And I know some of you have already seen the video on this. Some of you may not have. This is called the Easy Check Tape Measure. And I'm going to go over some of the features real quickly with you. Then we're going to show you a very short video clip of me actually measuring myself with this. And you'll see how phenomenal it is. So just very quickly, a couple of the features. First of all, the white side, this is the side that you put around your body. The yellow side has our measurements on it. And very, very fortunately, we've got the version that has both the imperial or inches at the bottom. And then on the top, it gives you the metric um, centimeters and millimeters. And this is wonderful because for all of our international countries and our Sherpa Designs patterns, you know you can draw your pattern off in metric or in imperial, and now you've got a tape measure that you can measure yourself in either system. And then we have a slide on this. It's a plastic slide. There's a little bit of tension on here, and then you'll notice that there is a red line right here. And when you get this on your body, as again, we'll show you this video in just a second. When you get this on the body and where the red line stops, that is your measurement. Again, whether you're in inches or in metric. Then when we turn this tape measure over, you're going to see um, a little plastic bar on that side and this side. Here's two little red arrows, and there's a hole in the center. Now, we are going to then look at the other end of this tape measure, and it looks like there is a little red button here. Well, that's really not a button. It really is a snap. So this is going to go around your body, and it's going to go like this. And I'm going to hold this up to my microphone, and I'm going to stop talking so that you can hear it snap. Did you hear that? OK. So now this circumference is around your body, and you move the slide, and it ends up being wherever your measurement is, and you're totally hands-free. David, could you please go ahead and play that short four-minute segment for them? Now let's see easy check in action. I'll do a couple of hip measurements for you. Put this around your hips, snap it shut, and then adjust the slide as need be. And you can see, hands-free. I absolutely love it. In terms of a mirror to use, you can have just a single mirror like this. You don't have to have a tri-way mirror. The only thing that you'd want to make sure when you're looking in your mirror 
is that your tape measure is parallel all the way around your body. And again, I'm totally hands-free. It's absolutely wonderful. Now to do my low hip measurement, you can just see it slid out a little bit on its own. And I'll just snug it up, check in my mirror, make sure that it's totally level all the way around. And there you go. It's very simple to do. Now, where you're going to be writing your measurements down, of course, are in your uh, kit instruction books. In each of the books, at the beginning of the book, there is a page to write your measurements down. Now, as I said earlier, I've already done videos on how to do the measurements for both the pants kit and the dress kit. And at the end of this one, I'm going to give you a link so that you can go directly and watch them. But any time that I do a circumference measurement with the old tape measure, substitute it with the easy check tape measure. And now I'm going to show you the most difficult measurement to do made totally 100% easy. And that's your bust measurement. One of the things that I say to do is to take that tape measurement, tape measure up over the lower portion of your shoulder blades at the back. And then I want both of your arms outstretched and then I want you to move your arms down because I want to see if you're going to pick up any back expansion here. Some of you have fleshy pads at the base of your arm, at the back of your body. And if you don't pick up that expansion in this bust circumference measurement, what happens is that you can rip the seams out of your set in sleeve garments and you don't want that to happen. So let's see how to do this. All right, here's my little slide and there's my snap and I've got the white side against my body and I'm just going to snap it shut. Then I'm going to put that over my full bust, over my apex. Now, go and check in the mirror and make sure that that's over the lower portion of your back shoulder blades. Your tape measure may not be totally 100% parallel to the floor. And that's okay, because you do definitely want to pick up if you have any of that back expansion. But look at this, I'm hands free. I absolutely love this. So now you've got your tape measure around you, and then, and it's over your back shoulder blades, that lower portion, then you just lower your arms down. Now in some of you, you're going to get a little bit of expansion. And that's the measurement that you want to use so that you don't rip the seams out of your set in sleeve garments. Now, as I look down, I can't see my measurements, and I'm also upside down. I could read in the mirror, but that's upside down. So all you do is unsnap it, and where that red line is, is exactly what my bust circumference measurement would be. So there are three circumference measurements that are so much easier when they are done with that easy check tape measure. So when you're home alone and you don't have a sewing buddy with you, can you just see how phenomenal this is going to be to help you get an accurate set of measurements? And you know the key to getting a good fit is having a accurate set of measurements and this is really going to help you out. At the end of this live chat today, we're going to play the entire um, video that shows you in depth all of the features and benefits of the Easy Check tape measure and then you'll see me measuring myself again. So if you have time to stick around after the chat, you'll be seeing that video as well. And um, I also wanted to say, you know, some of the customers have already got their Easy Check tape measure and I've started to receive feedback from them how great they love it. Some ladies are getting two and three of these tape measures, so they've got one for their purse and one for their sewing room and one for a sewing buddy who may not have known about it. So the other thing I would like to mention is that all of our international distributors are carrying, are, not our, are carrying the Easy Check tape measures. And um, in the USA, please check with your local teacher to check on availability. Some have it, some don't. And other than that, you can get it from surefitdesigns.com as well in the United States. Um, okay, then the other thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this, and I'm, I'm sure you're not being shy, 
but there's a chat window on the side of this broadcast. Please make sure that you're asking your questions throughout. We have all of our international distributors with us today, and very fortunately, they're helping me out by answering questions as we go along. And additionally, I've got my office assistant, Kelly, and she is also answering questions as we go along. And then at the end of the chat, once I'm done the lesson, then I will come in and answer your questions too. So please make sure that you're typing and chatting along as we go today. Now, the lesson. Let me inspire you. As you well know, that's the theme that we're using in 2021. And we're going to be talking about the t-shirt. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I get emails and questions saying, Glenda, do I use the shirt kit or the dress kit for my t-shirt? And if I use the dress kit, how do I get rid of the bust art? So today, that's exactly what we're going to talk about, is we're going to use the dress kit, and I'm going to show you how to remove the bust art. Now, one of the things that I asked you to do is to download the directions, the PDF document that gives you the directions for removing the dart uh, on the dress kit. And I gave you a link for that. Now, there, it's three pages long. We, we made sure that you got this so that you could follow along and understand the process really well. I won't say that it's complicated, but it does take some thought about what you're doing. And that's why it's also become a very good uh, chat topic, is so that you can see me actually doing the process of removing the dart. Do you use the shirt kit or the dress kit? Well, a lot of you already know that the shirt kit comes without a bust dart. Now, because it doesn't have a bust dart in it, it meant that it required more ease around the bust line. So the dress kit has two and a half inches of ease when you finish drawing off your pattern. And the shirt kit has about five to six inches of ease, so already it's bigger. But because it starts off without a bust start, it means that the armhole needs to be deeper. That equates into the sleeve cap being flatter and the whole sleeve being wider. And we get that into the armhole and it gives how do I say this? It gives a little bit more comfortable, casual feel, but definitely a more casual look because it doesn't have any bust starts. But you'll also know that if you're a C, D, double D, or beyond, in the shirt kit I say, you're going to get a better fit if you put in a bust start. So a lot of you fuller busted ladies have done that and are happier with the fit in the shirt kit. It's a great kit for a casual look. But now we come to the t-shirt and you say, well, I don't want my t-shirt to feel that big on me. Well, then you can use the dress kit. The dress kit has two and a half inches of ease in the bust line, but it has a bust dart. So how do you get rid of the dart? Well, before I actually show you how to remove the dart in the dress kit, let me talk about what I'm wearing and what's on the mannequins. This is my t-shirt pattern without a bust dart. And as we take a look at this color block t-shirt, this does not have a bust dart either. It was removed, and uh, then I just did the color blocking. And then as we take a look at the mannequin here this on the, that's got the white t-shirt on, it's exactly the same as my turquoise t-shirt. And the bust dart has been removed. So let's talk about your bust. When you are very, very small busted, you can get away without having a dart. So let's take a look at this piece of paper here. If when you're a child, you, had, you don't have any curves, you don't have any lumps and bumps, we're gonna say that this piece of paper is a piece of fabric. You can take that piece of fabric and you can put it on your chest because you don't have breasts and it's going to hang down straight and it's going to be absolutely fine. But now, as you start to mature and develop a bust line, now 
you've got this bust coming out in front of your body. So now this piece of paper, which is our fabric, it needs to bend to go over top of your bust line. And so what we do is we put in a bust dart. So I'm now going to cut this piece of paper and we're going to pretend that that's where the bust dart is going to go. So as you're maturing, you've got an A cup dart. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of folding the paper into a cone shape. And as you get more mature, the bust dart gets bigger. And as your bust gets bigger and bigger, this cone shape gets bigger and bigger. So this then becomes the dart to shape your bust line. All right. Now, I showed you this because that's why we have a dart, is to shape your bust line. So in a knit fabric, you say, but Glenda, I'm going to be sewing my t-shirt in a knit. Do I need a bust dart? Because the knit stretches. This particular knit has crosswise stretch and it has lengthwise stretch as well, not as much as the crosswise. And you say, this is going to stretch over my bust line. Why do I need a dart? Well, some knits are stretchier than others. And in some knits that are very, very stretchy, you may not need a bust dart. But now, let's take a look at this t-shirt. And you all know that I'm small busted. I'm barely a B. And I bought this mannequin. And the bust line on the mannequin is a little bit bigger than what I am be that as it may. You're still going to get the message here. So here's the bust, and I want all of you to see this. You can see that there is a diagonal fold going up to the apex. Now I want you to watch what happens. I'm going to pinch at the side seam, and I'm going to fold that out in a dart, and look what happens. It totally removes that diagonal fold that you get when you have a big bust and no dart. And some fabrics, some knit fabrics, might be stretchy enough to stretch out for your bust line and not get this. But my guess is, is that if you're very full busted, you are not going to get rid of this diagonal fold. I'm not a magician. Flat patterns aren't magical. You have to choose between a fold and a dart. But then you say, well, in fact, a lady emailed me and she said, how about if we remove the dart and then do an FBA? For those of you who don't know, FBA stands for full bust adjustment. And I emailed her back and I said, yeah, but my understanding of a full bust adjustment is that you're going to be putting in a dart. So what have you accomplished? You took one out. You did a full bust adjustment by adding some widths and some length to the bodice front. Then you had to put in a dart to shape your bust line. So what have you accomplished? Not very much. So now let's go to the handout that I asked you to download. If you didn't get it downloaded, don't worry about it. I don't want you racing to your computer to try and get it. We have put up a link for you at the bottom of this video. and. You'll see it's T-shirt tactics, and it's going to take you to a page that's called What's New in SureFitDesigns.com. So how you get there is, you know, besides following the link, if you were just to go to my website, go across the top, there's home page, then shop. In shop, you go down to the second tab. It says What's New. Scroll down to item number two and go and get yourself this document. I'm going to follow along with this as I am demonstrating today. And what I've just described to you about the difference between the shirt kit and the dress kit and why we have a dart in our garment is all discussed in these top couple of paragraphs. Now, something else that I ask you to do in preparation for your, your t-shirt pattern is I ask you to put the skirt in place on the bottom of your bodice. I'm not going to do that today because I have a very limited uh, space where I can demonstrate here and to put the skirt in place would just take up too much space. So I'm just going to be working with 
the bodice only. But um, at home, you, you definitely want to follow those directions. The other thing that I will mention to you is that these videos, these live chats, are all going to be available for replay. And I don't know how quickly they come up in YouTube afterward, but if you don't have the document, as I said, don't worry about it. Go print it out and then come back to YouTube and watch the presentation again. And I know it'll make that much more sense to you. So here I've got a bodice front, and I have used the erasable pencils now to draw on. As I said before, normally I draw in my heavy markers, but I didn't want to do that for the demonstration today because I am going to have to be erasing some lines. So the very first thing that I want to do, and this is step number uh, two on the document, is it says measure from the center front to the underarm. And let me just use this tape measure to do that. Center front to the underarm is, my measurement is 10 and a half inches. Now, I'd like you to set yourself up a little recording sheet like this. And the first thing that I'm going to write down is my center front to underarm point. And <clears throat> on my pattern, it's 10 and a half inches. Now, obviously, your dimensions are going to be totally different from mine. So please just pay attention to this mathematical process that I'm going through because your numbers will be different from mine. All right, so 10 and a half inches is mine, center front to the underarm point right here. Now I need to move this bust start up into the armhole. And for those of you who are following along, that's page number two in the PDF handout that um, you can get from what's new. So now what I'm going to do is start at the apex on the pattern, and I'm going to draw in green, I am drawing the designer's dart, the designer dart line, because I need to cut on that, and I'm going to move the dart up into the armhole. And I'm taking a line going, oh, a generous one-third of the way up into the armhole. And many of you have seen me do this before. I now need to just stabilize the apex. So I'm putting a piece of the removable tape over the apex. And then what I'm going to do is cut down through that arm side dart line like this up to almost the apex, but I don't want to go all the way through it. And then I'm going to cut out the designer's dart line. This is the green line that I drew. And I'm cutting on both the top and the bottom of the designer dart line on the pattern. All right, now let's see how close I got to the apex. That's pretty good. So you're going to cut it out and remove it. And you know, there's one other thing I should mention. You'll notice that I've only got one set of lines going around. I did not put seam allowances on this pattern. If I did, you would end up with way too many lines and it would be really visually confusing. So number 14 in the instructions say um, to add seam allowances afterward. And please make sure that you do that. So now what I'm going to do, I might need to nip this just a little bit more here, is I'm going to pivot the designer's dart closed, and you can see what it did, was it opened up the dart in the armhole area in the arm side. And I just need to get this to lay nice and flat right here and tape it down again with this removable tape. Okay, now I need to take a piece of tracing vellum. This will work. And I need to, don't throw out your scraps of vellum, by the way. You never know when you're going to be able to use them in backing patterns and that when you're doing uh, design work. So tape this down well. 
and this has now moved the dart into the armhole area. Some of you might be wondering how I got that dart in the first place. I should have showed this to you earlier. I did it with the adjust -a bus template. Again, for those of you who are new to SureFit Designs, this comes in an A, B, C, D, double D, and E cup shape, and the adjust -a bus template is found inside the dress kit. And I'll pull back this dart that I just cut out. This was a C cup dart that I removed from the, or I, I won't say I removed it, I moved it into the armhole. And if you're a C, D, double D, E, or beyond, I, I, I'm, as I say, I highly recommend leaving a dart somewhere in your bodice because you're going to end up with a much better shape in your finished t-shirt. Okay, so now you can see that when I shifted my dart up into my armhole, that the, as this chunk of the pattern came downward, this got wider from center front to underarm point. So I need to measure this one more time, and I'm going to start at center front, and I'm going to measure out to where the armhole is now. Some of you might remember that my initial measurement was 10 and a half inches across, now the tape measure is going to 11 inches. So let me get my recording sheet here. So I basically have 11 inches, and I need to subtract 10 and a half from 11, and I end up with a half an inch. So I gained a half an inch of width, and now I have to remove that half of an inch. And here's where I'm going to start using yet another color of pencil. I'll come in with this red pencil and I'm going to mark in one half inch at the underarm and then I am going to true this down to my waistline. Now please keep in mind that your skirt is going to be attached at the bottom of your waistline and you're just going to blend into your, your side seam there. Now what I want to do is erase this outer line because I still have one more line to do here and we just simply don't want these confusing lines to be in the way. When I drew this pattern off in black, I did a, a double line. Again, I want to make sure you could see my outline clearly, but even that double line is erasing so well with these new erasable pencils. I've never had anything that works as well as these pencils, and I've been doing this for 39 years, so <laughs> these pencils are absolutely great. Okay, so the next thing is I need to true the armhole, and I will do that in orange so that you can see the difference. So again, when this portion of the bodice closed up at the side seam here, you can see it jogged this section of the armhole out. So I often just pencil this in, freehand it, and I need to kind of connect the bottom portion of the armhole with the top portion. And I'll go like that, and then I'll take the designing stylus, and let me just move this down a bit. Now I'm going to see how well I did, and I don't like that curve at all. So I'm going to flop the stylus over, and I'm going to see if I can connect it with a better line here. And I actually think this is going to be a little bit better. It kind of splits the, the difference here in the armhole. So now I'm going to true that up like this. And I'll just erase some of my original just quick sketching there so that that's not in the way. And then I'll try and get rid of some of that black line again. As I said, I made that a double black line so that you could all see what I was doing. But for the most part, it's all totally, totally erasing, which is really, really great. So now, the next thing I need to do is I need to measure, because you can see that this armhole really got a lot deeper. 
And ultimately, what I need to do is I need to equalize the front and the back armhole. So I'll take my tape measure and I'm going to start the zero edge at the shoulder point and I'm going to measure around the armhole like this till I come to the underarm and this measures ten and a half. I know you're looking at the white side but it actually came out to ten and a half inches. Excuse me, it did not. My ten and a half was this way. It came out to 10 inches, and I'm just going to redo that. I'm thinking what I just wrote down there was 10 and a half for the width, and that isn't correct for the armhole. I'm, and I'm glad, you know the old saying, it's measure twice and cut once? Well, this was measured twice to get the right dimension on here. So it really is 10 inches long for my armhole. And so I'll put this dimension down. You can see that says front arm side length is 10 inches. Okay, now I need to bring in the back arm, or the back bodice, I should say, and we're gonna measure that back arm hole. Here's my back bodice right here. I'll just set that over there. Okay, here's my back bodice. And the first thing I need to do is measure the depth or the length of this armhole. So I'm starting at the underarm point. And as I'm doing this, my brain is thinking other things. And I should just mention that this is your body blueprint, your bodice blueprint that I've drawn off here. So as I start and started doing all this whole process, I'm working on the blueprint that you've already tested for your body with a dart and know that you like the fit of it, okay? So this just didn't happen out of thin air. This was your body blueprint, and I also call it your bodice blueprint um, that, you're, that you're working on. And the length of this armhole is nine inches. So my back armhole or arm side is nine inches long, okay? Now, as I just said, I'm going to attempt to equalize these armhole lengths and make them exactly the same length. So the difference between nine and 10 inches is one inch, and I need to divide this by two to start giving some to the back and taking some away from the front. So if I take my one, which is my difference, divided in two, I've got a half an inch that I now need to gain on the back and lose on the front. And as I said before, these are my dimensions. Your dimensions will be different, but the mathematical process is the same. So that's what you want to try and conceptualize as I'm teaching you this. Okay, so now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lengthen the back shoulder line and I'm going to use my line drafter and I'm lining up the quarter inch marking. Let me get right on top of that. I'm lining up the quarter inch marking on the line drafter, and I'm just going to do this in orange. Where's my neckline? Right there. Okay. I do that in orange. I extend this up, and I erase the line that I don't want. And, but I will add little marks here to show you that I've added a quarter of an inch there. So we came up a quarter of an inch. So if you recall, this length was nine inches long. I've now added a quarter, so I've now got nine and a quarter. Now we're going to go to the bodice front, and because I added a quarter at the back shoulder seam line, 
I'm now going to take off a quarter at the front shoulder seam line. So I'm putting the quarter inch marking on the line drafter right on top of the shoulder line and I'm drawing the line inside the bodice shoulder point or shoulder line right now. So the difference was on the back I came up and on the front I've come down. Again, I will erase the shoulder line that I don't want. And this came down. So recalling the armhole length on the bodice front was 10 inches. I've now just removed a quarter. Let me get rid of that too so I don't start measuring from the wrong place. And there we go. So I've now brought the front shoulder forward a quarter of an inch. Now, if we come back to my mathematical calculations, um, I've now made the back nine and a quarter long, and I've made the front nine and three quarters inches long. So now, when I subtract the difference between these two, I have a half an inch, and again, I'm going to disperse that half an inch over the back armhole and the front armhole. So I'm going to divide that in two, and I am left with one quarter of an inch to deal with. And how I'm going to deal with that is on the side seam. So on the side seam at the front, I am going to remove a quarter of an inch. And let me put my line drafter this way, like this. And again, I am blending this into my existing waist point. But just as a reminder, you're going to have your skirt down there, and you're going to be blending into your side seam. So I'm taking away a quarter of an inch, and you can see the difference here. I did that in blue, so now I am going to remove that pinkish red line like this. And there the lines are virtually gone, virtually gone. And I'll come back and measure that in a minute for you. On the back, I'll grab that and bring that into the view of the camera. Now, what did I say on the back? I needed to add a quarter of an inch here. So again, in comes the line drafter. I am lining up the quarter inch marking on the line drafter and taking my new side seam all the way down like this and connect at the underarm and erase the original. So in essence, when I measure now, I should end up with the front and the back armhole that are of equal lengths. So let's do that measuring now. We're going to start at our new shoulder point, which is the orange line. And I'm going to come down to my blue side seam, and it is nine and a half inches. That was the goal. And let's measure the, the front. Let me move that out of the way there. And I'm coming down from the orange line. Can you see that if I would have still had my original shoulder line there or left my pencil markings here, how totally distracting that would be. So that's why these colored pencils are great. So they really kind of keep you on target of what you've done, what step is next, and then where you have to go back and measure from. And as I measure this, it measures also exactly nine and a half inches. So what I've done now is I have equalized the armholes so that they are both the same length. And in the process of doing that, I removed the bust fitting dart so you no longer have to have it in the front of your dress kit. Now, let's go to the instructions. What have I done so far? Page one, that was the discussion of the shirt to the dress kit and why you need a dart if you're full busted. 
And then I measured across from center front to the underarm and got that dimension. Then the instructions show you how to take the bust dart and transfer it into the armhole. And then I show you how to measure across what did your width become and that you have to go back to your original width from center front to underarm point number two. And then I show measuring the armholes once you've equalized them. And these two di diagrams right here are the process of adding and subtracting from the shoulder line and adding and subtracting from the side seam. Now I am going to point out something that step six and step eight, you might want to make a note on this if you're keeping little notes as we go here, um, particularly if you didn't download this ahead of time, is that step six and step eight say to add a half an inch to the back side seam and to subtract a half an inch from the front side seam. And you will remember, <clears throat> excuse me, in this demonstration, I only did a quarter of an inch. That's because when I originally wrote these instructions, I was using a different width of dart. So depending on the width of dart and your total circumference, these measurements right here, the half inch, are variable. You could be <clears throat> a quarter of an inch at the side seam, maybe three-eighths, maybe a half, maybe five-eighths of an inch. Please do my mathematical calculations and just realize that that half-inch dimension on the side uh, for these instructions can definitely be variable. But as I say, that is how you remove the dart in the front of the dress kit. Now, let's go to the third page and see the information that we have here. The neckline that I have on this turquoise t-shirt and on the white t-shirt, this neckline uh, is showing, uh, the design that I've done, done here is showing you how to do it in the illustrations right here. You can put any neckline on that you want to. You can see that in uh, the color block t-shirt, I just used a strip of my red and black fabric and I just did like kind of an open crew neck on that one. But what I did want to point out on page three of the instructions is about the sleeve pattern. When you open up your Surefit Designs dress kit and you're looking at your patterns, as you pull out the sleeve pattern, on one side there's going to be the sleeve for woven fabrics that has the elbow dart in it. But because we're working with a knit fabric, you don't need that elbow dart. So flip that pattern piece over and on the reverse side of it, you're going to see the sleeve for the knit fabric. And I think we're putting up an image of that um, on the camera right now. And one thing that I want you to be aware of is that the knit sleeve does not have an elbow dart. It doesn't need it because it, the knit is going to conform to the bend of your elbow. And we get wrinkles there, but we don't care about them. But the other thing that these directions tell you to do is you're going to be extending out the underarm points on your sleeve pattern. Why are you going to do that? It's because you've modified the armhole depth on the front and the back bodice. So again, it's going to be totally mathematical for you, but ultimately from underarm point around the cap to the other underarm point, you only want a half an inch of ease total, which means that that's a quarter of an inch on either side of the front of the cap and the back of the cap. And that's what these directions show you to do. Then once you've got your sleeve extended out, just true it down into whatever length you want. Short sleeve, three quarter like what I'm wearing, or long sleeve t-shirt. And then step number 14 says, don't forget to add your seam allowances in all the areas that require seam allowances. So everybody, that is the process for removing the dart from the bodice front. But as I've shown uh, you on this white mannequin, or the white top on the mannequin, is that it's still possible to get drag lines, and that's because of the nature of your body 
when you have a bust that protrudes in the front. And so those are some of the choices that you need to make when you're deciding what it is you want to sew for yourself. But I do encourage you to give it a try and see if you like it. It's totally up to you. Oh, and the other thing is, when you're sewing it together, don't forget to base those side seams and in the longest stitch that you can because I want you to try it on before you set your sleeves in place. The reason is some knits are going to stretch more than others and you may need to take those side seams in because you just don't like the two and a half inches of ease in the bust line. And then the other thing is, you know, when you're sewing with a knit fabric, I often tell you to size down a dot um, to get rid of some of the pattern ease because the fabric has so much give to it. Well, it could be that you end up sizing down two or three dots if your fabric is very, very stretchy. But it doesn't mean that you're going to get rid of the diagonal fold just because that fabric is really stretchy. Okay, just before we go into our Q&A section, I want to do a quick reminder of our new products. Uh, first of all, we have the colored pencils, and you've seen me use them. They are absolutely great. We have this new Easy Check Tape Measure. I know you will all love it, and so many of us are still at home and wanting to make sure we have accurate measurements. This will do it for you. We have put together a little mini bundle, I've called it. It's the mini tape and pencil bundle, and it has in it three of the most important things that you can have in your equipment uh, supplies. Number one, of course, is the colored pencils. Number two is the easy check tape measure. And number three is our removable tape. We've put a little um, combination together for you here. And I also should say, I have a very limited supply of the colored pencils. They take a while to get from Europe and not to be, um, you know, a, a scaremonger here, but when they're gone, they're gone. And I am going to take them off my website because I, I won't know how long it's going to be to get more in. And so as the website counts down and the items get sold, it's going to literally be first come, first serve. But it doesn't mean I won't get more. It just means that I won't have them available um, anytime soon because again I just don't know how long it's going to take to get more into the shop. Anyway, our little bundle, it's a great place to start if you don't have these notions already. So we are going to go into questions and my answers for you now and David I'm going to ask if you could please bring over the laptop for me and while he's bringing that over Please make sure that you uh, get your questions entered into the chat window. And again, I would thank our distributors very, very much for their input in terms of answering customers' questions. David, are you going to bring the laptop over? Okay, so I've now got the laptop here and I can start answering your questions and let's see what we've got. Um, um, Penny Hoop is asking how much is the discount, the bundle in Canada? I'm not really sure if Anna is offering that discount. She didn't let me know that she had that bundle, so please connect with Anna directly at Anna at surefitdesigns.ca and she can let you know if she's got it available or not. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's see here. These questions are and comments are coming in pretty quickly, so I'm just taking a minute to read them. Oh, this is an interesting question. It says, this may have been asked and answered, but is there a video that demonstrates leaving in a bus start? Um, I'm afraid I might need that. Just don't take it out. Just use your bodice the way that it is. So you just, you don't move it. You just leave it there. Uh, do we ship over to Germany? Um, from the United States, we don't directly, but Judith in the UK does. And her email address is judith at surefitdesigns.co.uk and she ships directly to Germany. Excellent question from Joyce Harris. I would like to use shoulder pads. Is, it, is there a formula for how to measure for a jacket or a, a shirt for or jacket? Yes, there is. And if you go in to the Surefit Designs dress book, Again, for those of you who are new, this is in the um, Surefit Designs kit. And it is on page 35 uh, here on the shoulder pads, making a jacket. And it tells you to me measure the depth of the shoulder pad and then add that to the shoulder point. This is from Jim Smith, or, or let's see, Melissa from Calgary. Will this technique work to make a larger armhole if making a coat from my blueprint? Um, well, it definitely makes the armhole larger, but that's not what I would do if I was doing a coat. Uh, again, reference, reference page 35 in the dress book because it shows you how to make not only the armhole larger, but when you're making a jacket or a coat, you need to make the whole body larger, and you have to extend the shoulder points out as well. Um, Gail Meacham, or how do you make shoulder pads for tailored jackets? Any info on that? No, I'm sorry. I don't make shoulder pads. I buy them and I don't know the information. I bet if you go onto YouTube and ask how to make a shoulder pad, at least 20 different videos will come up. That's somebody else's bailiwick, not mine. <laughs> okay, um, another question. How do we get the bundle? I'm presuming you're referring to this mini discounted bundle. Just go to surefitdesigns.com if you're in the United States and go over to the shop tab and then go down to essential tools and you'll see it as one of the options there to purchase. Um, Elise Wilson asks, can the dart be removed to the hem instead? If you take the dart down to the hem instead, then you're going to be flaring out the bottom of it. You definitely can do that, but it's going to swing the hemline up and cause a curved bottom at the hemline, and it may not be what you want in a t-shirt. Go ahead and experiment with that. And also in the dress kit, um, I don't remember all my page numbers. Here we go, page 38. This is the high-low hem swing top. There is where I take the bust dart and I do put it down into the waist-fitting dart in that particular garment. These questions are coming in so quickly, I don't know if I can read them all here. Um, oh, uh, excellent question, Sonia Van Z Zyl, Zeal. Do you just don't sew the waist dart for the t-shirt? That is correct. The waist dart is in the instructions, um, these instructions, but only for illustrative purposes, only to orient you to the top. Don't sew that waist-fitting dart. It just kind of is a non-entity there. Um, let me go back here. Let me, if I read this out loud, maybe it'll make more sense to me. Jennifer Stropel asked, when making a blueprint with a broad back, my understanding now is that I would need to make 
that adjustment before this adjustment. Am I understanding this correctly? And the answer is yes. Any other, this isn't really a fitting issue. This is a design issue. So if you have a broad back, a sway back, sloped shoulders, um, square shoulders, tight neck, those are fitting issues. And those would have been worked out ahead of time in your blueprint before you get to this designing stage. So that was an excellent question. And Martha from Australia said, yes, they are offering this mini tape and pencil bundle. Thank you very much, Martha. Um, can you show again? Marianne Keyes asks, can you show again where, oops, I've lost it. Can you show again where the measurement should be? Do you mean the dent just above the shoulder bone? I I'm not exactly sure what you're asking here. If you're talking about shoulder length, then your shoulder, the right at the top of your shoulder bone, that is where your shoulder point should be. Um, I may have gotten that question, misunderstood it. Okay, Caroline Palencia asks, if you keep the bust start, would you still equalize the front and back armhole lengths? No, there's no need to do that. That's only if you've transferred the dart into the armhole. <laughs> Here's a question from Linda Veldam, Veldam. Did Elsa B get the tape measures in South Africa? And yes, they just got delivered to her on Thursday. She now has them up on her website. Um... Could I move the bust dart? This is from Chantelle Gwinnett. I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. Could I move the bust dart to a French dart position for the t-shirt? Absolutely. Your bust dart's still there. That's going to give you the nice shaping in the side seam. You absolutely can. And yes, the French dart is shown in the Surefit Designs dress kit instruction book. Um, Janice Ogle, you've asked that you just, I think that you just bought, I'm not exactly sure what your question is, Janice, something about maybe having purchased before, I'm not really sure, and can you still get the pencils? Uh, you might want to email myself directly on that one. We'll just go back and check it, what it was that you ordered, and we'll see what we can do for you. And uh, Gillette, are there instructions to correct for a broad back? Um, you'll find that in the Surefit Designs Learning Center. Go to our video library where I discuss measuring across the back and then making sure that you have enough reaching room in your armholes. Um, and it will be under the D, D for dress category in the Learning Center. Um, Rosa Cruz, do we get the kit on the website? I'm having a hard time navigating through it and would like to find the bodice tutorial. Okay, if you're talking, uh, Rosa, if you're talking about the t-shirt tactics tutorial, what you want to do is go to shop and then use the drop down, go to what's new, which is um, the second item under shop and then when you get into what's new you'll see the video on the easy check tape measure and then you will see underneath that number two are the directions to download the instructions for the t-shirt
Um, Ella Myers asked, should the front and back armhole lengths be the same for a t-shirt if I have a forward shoulder? Well, not necessarily, Ella, but you want to start with your forward shoulder adjustment, first of all. Get that done in your blueprint, and then go on to making the t-shirt. Your armholes might not be totally equalized because you'll, you've already moved that shoulder line forward. Okay, this is from Valerie Evans. She says, Glenda, no matter the pattern, I get gaping right at the back of my neck. Is it better to insert a dart or put in a center back seam? Excellent question, Valerie. You can do either. If you put in a curved center back seam, you can incorporate that dart into the seam. And the other option, of course, is to put in two small darts at the neckline and then you could, if you wanted to, transfer them into a shoulder dart or maybe into a yoke. So you should be able to tighten up that neck without having the neck darts um, totally visible. Okay, and I think this is going to be the last question that I'll answer because David, our production manager, does have another function this afternoon. And this is an interesting question, and I thought I said it a little bit earlier, but I'll do it again. I missed the beginning. Will this video be available on YouTube to view later? And the answer is absolutely yes. All of our videos on YouTube, the live chats, the free ones, are definitely available for replay. So you just want to use the link that we gave you to come into this chat, and it'll, it'll be there for for viewing, and the chat will also be there as well. And then the other thing I'm going to ask you is when you're in my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way, when I announce a new chat coming up, my understanding is that we will set the chats ahead of time in, as an event. And then if you click on the link that I give you, it'll bring up the event, and it'll say, Six days till live broadcast, two days till live broadcast, one hour until live broadcast. But you can set yourself a reminder. And that's one of the benefits of being subscribed to my channel. So please go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And that way you'll get notifications of when I put up new things. And you can set yourself reminders for any of the live chats. I also invite you to write your comments down in the comment window of, the, of YouTube. That's different from the chat that's going along here. If you have any comments you'd like to share with the world, please do. Let me also remind you, send in your chat topics to me, as well as your photographs of your accomplished SureFit Designs projects. My address is info at surefitdesigns.com. I appreciate everything I get from all of my customers. Your ideas are great. That's how this chat came about. And I just welcome you to and invite you to send more ideas to, for me because I kind of go, well, what should I chat about next month? So I, I do appreciate everything that you send me. And you want your garment to be featured in our carousels. You want to be an inspiration for everybody else Send your finished photographs to me. Put it on yourself. If you don't want your head in there, we can always cut your head off in, in Photoshop or put the garment on a mannequin and send that along. And we want to be rotating that carousel at the beginning of our live chats and showing off all of your wonderful work. I'd like to thank you so much for staying with us today. I know I went over time and, you know, it was just a long topic. But I also want to remind you to watch the video that's going to be shown right now. It's about 11 to 12 minutes long, and it's on all the benefits and features of the Easy Check tape measure, and you can see it in full living color. So again, thanks so much for joining this live chat, and watch for our announcements for February 12th. Bye for now.
Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs and lots of you already know me as Glenda the Good Stitch. For those of you who don't, welcome to SureFit Designs. You know, for the last number of months, we've been on the lookout for a tape measure that's going to make it really, really easy for you to measure yourself when you don't have a helping hand or a sewing buddy. And thanks to our distributor in the UK, Judith Johnson, she was able to help source us one in Europe. And so I would like to show you some of the remarkable features about this tape measure. It's called an easy check tape measure. And on one side, we have it it's completely white. And so that means that that is the side that's going to go around your body, against your body. Another feature that this has is that only one side is printed. And that really is great because then you know that the white side has to go around your body. And another really tremendous feature for us is that it has two sets of measurements on it. One is the imperial or inches measurements and the other is metric or centimeters and millimeters. Now that's great for us because you know SureFit Designs is an international company and we have distributors all around the world and when you're drawing off your SureFit Designs pattern you can draw it off in either the metric or the imperial system. So this tape measure is fabulous for us. Now another feature you're going to see is kind of like a clear plastic buckle. It's like a slide and I'll just move this along in the tape measure or tape measure the long in the slide like this and you can see that it's moving in here and you'll also notice that there was a little bit of resistance as I was pulling that and that's good because you want to be able to put this around your body we are going to snap it shut and I'll show you that feature in just a moment but when you put this around your body you don't want it to slip too much so because it's got a little bit of resistance, that is absolutely great. Now, you're also going to notice on this slide, there is a red line right here. So once you have this around the circumference of your body and you've got it you know, stable and the way that you want it, once it's snapped in place, this red line is going to be your exact measurement on your body. And now as we turn this slide over, you're going to see two plastic bars at the back. There's one clear one right here. And then the other one, you'll notice that it's got a red arrow pointing upward and a red arrow pointing downward. And there is a hole in the center. And that's where the snap is going to snap into. So I've been talking about this snap and this is what it looks like. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so as this goes around your body, then you bring this around like this, and then you take that red snap, which is at the zero end of the tape measure, and you take it and snap it in to that little hole that I just showed you. And you could likely hear that tiny little snapping noise. So it's completely snapshot and now that's around your body. And so in a few moments we're going to stop this particular portion of the video, reset the scene so that I can show you actually how it looks like on my body. Now in YouTube as well as in our Surfer Designs Learning Center we already have two videos for you on measuring solo and ones for measuring your pants pattern and the others for measuring your dress pattern. And the pants pattern video is called How to Measure Accurately for the SureFit Designs Pants Sewing Pattern. And the one for the dress fitting video is called Measuring Yourself for Good Pattern Fit. Now I've put those videos as well as this one will go in a playlist and the playlist is called Measuring Solo. I'm going to encourage you to watch those two videos after this particular one and I'll give you some links at the end of this video so that you can just go directly to that playlist and start watching those those particular videos. Now in them of course I use 
my old tape measure for doing all of my measurements, including my circumferences. And you're going to see that, yes, it is a little bit awkward because with one hand I'm having to hold it, the other I'm looking down, I'm making sure that it's held in place. Well, you're going to see with this easy check tape measure that it makes it so easy to do it without another set of hands. Now, where you're going to find this easy check tape measure is in our websites. In the USA, it's surefitdesigns.com. And as I said before, we have international distributors. And you can find their sites as well on my site. And then what you're going to do is go to the Shop tab and then go down to the tab or department that's called Essential Tools because this will definitely become one of your essential tools. You'll be able to purchase it individually if you already have everything else, but if you want what we call our Essential Tools Combo, this is going to be included in it. And anytime I use the word combo, you'll know that that means all of the items within the combo have been discounted. So at this point, we're gonna shut these cameras down and get ready to show you actually me using the tape measure and how easy it is to do that. Now let's see easy check in action. I'll do a couple of hip measurements for you. Put this around your hips, snap it shut, and then adjust the slide as need be. And you can see, hands-free. I absolutely love it. In terms of a mirror to use, you can have just a single mirror like this. You don't have to have a tri-way mirror. The only thing that you'd want to make sure when you're looking in your mirror is that your tape measure is parallel all the way around your body. And again, I'm totally hands-free. It's absolutely wonderful. Now to do my low hip measurement, you can just see it slid out a little bit on its own. And I'll just snug it up, check in my mirror, make sure that it's totally level all the way around. And there you go. It's very simple to do. Now, where you're going to be writing your measurements down, of course, are in your uh, kit instruction books. In each of the books, at the beginning of the book, there is a page to write your measurements down. Now, as I said earlier, I've already done videos on how to do the measurements for both the pants kit and the dress kit. And at the end of this one, I'm going to give you a link so that you can go directly and watch them. But any time that I do a circumference measurement with the old tape measure, substitute it with the easy check tape measure. And now I'm going to show you the most difficult measurement to do made totally 100% easy, and that's your bust measurement. One of the things that I say to do is to take that tape measurement, tape measure up over the lower portion of your shoulder blades at the back. And then I want both of your arms outstretched, and then I want you to move your arms down because I want to see if you're going to pick up any back expansion here some of you have fleshy pads at the base of your arm, at the back of your body. And if you don't pick up that expansion in this bust circumference measurement, what happens is that you can rip the seams out of your set in sleeve garments and you don't want that to happen. So let's see how to do this. All right, here's my little slide and there's my snap and I've got the white side against my body and I'm just gonna snap it shut then I'm going to put that over my full bust, over my apex. Now, go and check in the mirror and make sure that that's over the lower portion of your back shoulder blades. Your tape measure may not be totally 100% parallel to the floor. And that's okay because you do definitely want to pick up if you have any of that back expansion. But look at this, I'm hands free. I absolutely love this. So now you've got your tape measure around you and then, and it's over your back shoulder blades, that lower portion, then you just lower your arms down. Now in some of you, you're going to get a little bit of expansion and that's the measurement that you want to use so that you don't rip the seams out of your set in sleeve garments. Now, as I look down, I can't see my measurements and I'm also upside down. 
I could read in the mirror, but that's upside down. So all you do is unsnap it, and where that red line is, is exactly what my bust circumference measurement would be. So there are three circumference measurements that are so much easier when they are done with that easy check tape measure. Now, just as a reminder, if you're not already part of the SureFit Designs community, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and it's just SureFit Designs, and right below this video, there is a link to subscribe. And then, over on the other side, there is the playlist with an automatic link. Just click on it, and it's going to take you to the measuring solo videos. I really encourage you to watch both of them. You'll get a really good feel for how to measure yourself now without a sewing buddy. And please also visit surefitdesigns.com. You can pick up your easy check tape measure there. And if you're looking for the international distributors, there's a tab at the top that says international. Just click on that and it will give you the link to all the distributors. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.